Hello and welcome to Make It Monday. My name is Aldo and I work at the Harold Washington Library Center. All month long, as part of our winter learning journey, we have been making and trying out fun games. Now, two of my favorite types of games are video games and basketball. And today I'm going to show you how you can combine those two to make a DIY version of a classic arcade game. Using a few supplies that you might have at home, you can make your own arcade basketball game. Uh, perhaps after the holidays you have a bunch of cardboard boxes lying around. Uh, well, today I'm going to show you how you can turn those boxes into this fun, easy craft. So to begin, let's go over some of the supplies we will need. We're going to need a shoebox. We want to make sure that we also have the top of the shoebox. Or you can use a piece of cardboard that's similar to the size of the shape of the shoebox that you have. You're also going to need paper cups. I have two different kinds of paper cups here. You usually get these at the dollar store. Um, you use these for when you're brushing your teeth, uh, rinsing out water. You're also going to need pipe cleaners. Or if you don't have pipe cleaners at home, um, you can use wire that maybe is around an old notebook that you're not using anymore. Just be careful when taking out and cutting this wire um, I had an accident, so ask an adult to help you with this part. Also gonna need markers, some tape, a plastic spoon or fork. Spoons work really well because they can hold the object that you'll be launching towards the hoop. A bottle cap, preferably one that's a um, larger size. And then um, hot glue if you have hot glue. If not, then you can always use tape. And you're going to need a projectile. So a ball. If you don't have a ball, you can use clay to make a ball. You can use paper to make a ball. Or you can use marbles. And last but not least, to help you draw straight lines, you'll need a ruler. Okay, so step one, you're going to grab one more material item that I forgot to mention, scissors, and your box. And you're going to go ahead and make a diagonal line that goes across your box, just like this. I drew my line beforehand. You're going to want to do that again on the other side here. And if it helps you, which helped me, you can sort of draw a line at the front of the box to connect that line from here to the back of the box. This is about one inch right here. And then um, the line just goes down. Try to make it as straight as possible. So you're going to grab your scissors and you're going to start cutting. Now you have your box with your diagonal cut on both sides and on the front. So it looks kind of like this here. Um, you're also going to want to grab your marker at this time and draw sort of what a basketball court looks like on the bottom of this box. I used my ruler to draw some straight lines here and here. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, mine isn't, but um, it's kind of cool to make it look like a basketball hoop. And for your cover, you're going to want to take the top of the shoebox and draw a square to represent where the hoop's going to go. That's the uh, backboard, usually, where the hoop rests. And you can take that and draw a square, two squares. I added some tape there just to add some color, but you can color it as well with markers. And then you're going to go ahead and place that right in your box. So if you take this top, slide it in there, you will have your basketball hoop. Here's the court, and here is the 
blackboard. Next, to make the hoop, you're going to take your paper cup and fold it in half. Grab your scissors and cut out the bottom so that there is a small hole where your projectile can go through. So there is my hole at the bottom of my cup. That would be my hoop. That's where the ball is going to go right through. Now you can also make little cuts around the cup so that it kind of looks like a net. This cup kind of has lines already across so it makes it easier for me to cut. Kind of creates that little net look for you. Now that you have your basketball hoop, you're going to want to grab your pipe cleaner or your wire and you're going to wrap it around the top of your cup. So I'm going to take this, just put it around my cup, just like that, and wrap it around. And then when the pipe cleaner meets, you're just going to go ahead and overlap and tie it together. So just go like this. You want to make it kind of tight because this is what's going to hold up your hoop. There you go. It's around the top part. Just gonna pull on this end here. Make sure it's secure. Now I have my pipe cleaner secured with my hoop there. Okay, now that I have my hoop and the pipe cleaner is connected to it, I can go ahead and connect it to the backboard here. So I'm gonna lay my basketball court down here and I'm going to make a hole right below this square here. So I'm going to use scissors and also a bamboo skewer to make a hole. You can use a pen, um, you can use a box cutter. Just recommend a adult help you do this part here. It can be a little bit difficult. We just want to make one small hole right through here. I'm going to go ahead and hold the box down and then use the scissors to make a hole right there. And then I can use my skewer if I need to make the hole bigger. Or... There you go. And then you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and push it through that hole that you just made so that the hoop will rest right there. In order to secure it, you're gonna wanna turn your box over and get a piece of tape you're going to lay it across here to make sure that that hoop is secure. So, here we go. Go ahead and rest that pipe cleaner down. I'm going to rip off a piece of this tape. It's a little bit difficult with my thumb injury. <laughs> but you're going to go ahead and take a piece of tape, pull that pipe cleaner as tight as you can and then tape over it here. And you can always apply more tape if you need to. You can also use a hot glue gun to secure this here. That looks pretty secure. So the hoop is connected to the backboard. And now I can get my launcher ready. Okay. To make the launcher, you're gonna grab a spoon or a fork and you're gonna go ahead and attach the bottle cap to the spoon or the fork part. If you're using a fork, you could even cut off the end and then hot glue the bottle cap directly on. Since I have a spoon, the bottle cap kind of just rests on there and then I won't need to hot glue. To use hot glue, I'll just use some tape to wrap around the spoon. So I'll show you how that works. You're just gonna wanna rip a piece of tape. Put it under the spoon, just like that. Grab your bottle cap and connect it to the spoon. Make sure that it's pretty secure. So your tape is resting on the bottle cap with the spoon and you're able to use it as a launcher.
Now for your last step, you're going to want to connect your spoon to your basketball court that you've created. So to do that, you're going to make another hole that's going to be right here in the front of your basketball court. You kind of want to try to line it up to your hoop so that when you are launching things, it's not going to the side. So you can use a ruler again to just make sure that it is in that same direction. Um, and you're going to want to put it lined up to the backboard so that when you're shooting stuff, it can bounce off and go into the hoop. So in order to make a hole here, you kind of just do something similar. I'm going to take my scissors and this time I'm going to hold the box like this. just need to make a really small hole right here. Once again, I would recommend getting a parent to help you out with that step. Use your skewer to make the hole a little bit bigger if you need to. And then you can just go ahead and place your launcher right in that hole. I kind of want it to stick out a little bit. And we're going to secure it with some tape as well. Now to secure your launcher, you're going to want to apply some tape from the end of the spoon down to the court. So you can go ahead and put a few pieces of tape down so that it's sticking up like this and you can hold it down without having to worry about it rolling. So as you can see, if I'm pressing down on the launcher, I let go, the spoon will stay in place there. Okay, now that I've taped down my spoon here, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to go ahead and shoot a marble. So what kind of energy are we seeing here? Well, energy of motion or kinetic energy is seen when the ball is being launched into the air and we're using our force to hold down the spoon here, which is really just a lever. So we're holding it down. Once we release it, the energy of motion happens as it launches the object in the air and into our hoop. We're also seeing potential energy, um, which can be seen in the spoon. So the energy is stored until we push down and launch our device. So depending on how, how far down we press the ball, uh, will determine the height and the speed of how the ball is uh, projected towards the hoop. Um, so try it out at home. Let me know what kind of projectiles you use and if it affects the way that the ball travels in the air and through our hoop here. Well, thank you for joining us. Later this month, I will be hosting a game design program using Bloxels. So if you're interested in designing your own video game, please register on our website at shypublib.org. Also, check out some of these awesome video game related books at the end of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Steam videos here on our YouTube channel. Now tune in next Monday for another edition of Make It Monday. I'll see you next time. Bye!